I don't know what I'll do on a Saturday anymore. I'll be very lonely. <laughs> After more than 30 years, it's the end of an era for Napier's annual William Colenso College book sale. Librarian Vicky Clark says there simply isn't the interest to sustain it. We have a generation of readers that are missing. I'd like to think they are reading online. They're just not reading actual books. Um, we find it's between 15 and 30. I could be very generous with that age. Uh, young parents, yes, are definitely coming in, but usually a little bit older coming to read. The school fundraiser still brings in big bucks. This year, around $8,000 is expected, but that's just a third of what it used to be. And that makes the year-long effort collecting and sorting books not worthwhile. It is just the setup, the logistics of it. Wonderful donations from everybody, but the, the labour is the hard part, lifting heavy books. We're all old, ain't you? <laughs> but we're very strong. Yes. <laughs> it's a massive job. You want to uh, <laughs> <gonna> try <coughs> picking up banana boxes of books, and we're talking hundreds upon hundreds of, of boxes of books. Uh, it's, it's hard yakka. And as Vicky was saying, it's people giving up their weekends uh, for most of the year. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a huge ask. It's also a, a thing of beauty, though, because you're... You're recycling books, you know, they're not going to the dump or anywhere else. And they're going into the hands of people who um, are picking up books at bargain prices. And so it's a very sort of virtuous circle. Uh, people are pleased to donate the books. People are thrilled to get them at bargain prices. And the school makes some money. It's not just the William Calenso sale that's suffering. The declining demand for books means there's fewer second-hand bookshops. From 10 years ago, we would have had about 12 to 15 travelling long distances to buy. And now we have four, four or five would come through. The final sale is from 9am to 4pm this Saturday and 9 to noon on Sunday. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.